look, it's a time of tremendous uncertainty. I can't tell you what's going to happen with our economy, with our democracy. It's scary, I know, but there is one thing I can promise you. But first, I need you to promise me that you're going to take care of yourself. I want you to cut back on the meat, the wheat, the dairy, cut back on the alcohol, the partying, the drugs, because I need you to live. Because I can't promise what's going to happen with our society, but there's one thing I can guarantee you will happen, and that is that Donald Trump is going to fucking die someday. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't want him to die. I don't want him to suffer in any way. I want three ghosts to visit him on Christmas Eve and turn him into a good person. But that's not going to happen. He's going to die. And you deserve to be there for that. The grift will finally end. Those hideous anus-like lips will stop moving. The irony is what he cares about most are ratings. And he's going to get the greatest ratings of his life because he's fucking dead. You've got to be alive for Donald Trump's funeral. You don't want to miss Donald Trump's funeral. Because you know Melania is going to bring a date. And then imagine the casket. It's going to look like Liberace's piano in Vegas. And who's going to sing at Donald Trump's funeral? I mean, well, all right, Frank Stallone. Imagine these pallbearers, right? It's going to be my pillow guy and Chachi and Kanye West. Kid Rock. Kim Jong-un. Ron Jeremy and Rudy Giuliani. Except Rudy's going to be too short to actually reach the box. So he's going to be jumping the whole time and stumbling like a drunken weasel. And then they're going to open up the Trump Presidential Library and Museum for Americans who would never go to a library or a museum. You know what they're going to do? They'll open it here, but it'll be the Trump Presidential Library and Casino. You wait. He'll be taking these rubes money from beyond the grave. And I don't wish death on him. I want Donald Trump to live a very long life, preferably, you know, in The Hague. And again, I don't want the man to suffer. I'm not here to pee on his grave. He might like it. And he's going to go before St. Peter. And on that day, Donald Trump will learn what extreme vetting really fucking means.